New at 5, Atlanta police have now arrested a 15-year-old boy for shooting outside of a high school football game. Two children were hurt in that shooting. One of them, a 12-year-old boy, he's now paralyzed from the chest down. Joe Hankey talked to police today. Joe, police told you they're still looking for at least one other shooter here. They are, Cheryl. One in custody. The 15-year-old who was arrested is charged with aggravated assault. He's being held at a youth detention center because he is a juvenile. Police are not offering many details about him right now. Meanwhile, 12-year-old Isaiah Payton remains paralyzed and in the hospital tonight. This is concerning that we have a juvenile at this age um, who has uh, in possession of a gun and who used it in a reckless manner. Um, and again, this could have been a very, this could have been a loss of life. The August 17th shooting near Lakewood Stadium in southeast Atlanta happened shortly after a high school football game between rival high schools Mays and Carver. The shots were fired near the corner of Clare Drive and Olive Street. One bullet hit a 15-year-old in the leg. Another left a 12-year-old named Isaiah Payton paralyzed from the chest down. He's having some challenging days, as you can imagine. Um, some days that he is, is angry um, because of the process and where he is right now. Earlier this month, Peyton's mother pleaded for anyone involved to turn themselves in. I don't know who, who shot my baby, but my prayers is for whoever did this, that they will come forward or somebody that know who who did it would come for. On Monday, APD investigators spoke with his mother after arresting a 15-year-old alleged shooter. She was uh, relieved. She had a sigh of relief that, that came from her. However, she does understand that this investigation is still active. Atlanta police say the two boys hit during the shooting were not the intended targets. APD also believes that more than one shooter was involved, but who the other shooter or shooters may have been is unknown. If you if you see something, even if you believe that it's minute, nothing is minute at this point. We got to make sure that we're saving lives and that we're keeping our, everyone safe. That is why a billboard advertising this case will remain up near Mays High School with another scheduled to go up near Carver High later this month, advertising a $10,000 reward in the case. And when we heard earlier this month from Isaiah Payton's mother, she said her family needed help finding a handicap accessible apartment and van before Payton could be released from the hospital. The mayor's office and APD said that they would help facilitate getting donations to the family. I'm told as of today, some people have stepped up to help the family, but so far not all of their needs have been met. We'll send it back to you.